Canadian retirees, listen up. A game-changing boost to your monthly income could be on its way. Prime Minister Trudeau has just announced a bold new plan that could put an extra $1,400 in your pocket every single month. But what exactly does this mean for you and your future? Stay tuned as we break down everything you need to know about this unprecedented increase to the old age security benefit. The recent announcement by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau regarding a potential $1,400 monthly boost to old age security, OAS, payments for Canadian retirees has sent shockwaves through the nation, prompting a flurry of questions, speculation, and hope among seniors and soon-to-be retirees across the country. This groundbreaking proposal, if implemented, would represent one of the most significant increases to retirement benefits in Canadian history, potentially transforming the financial landscape for millions of older Canadians. The Old Age Security Program, a cornerstone of Canada's retirement income system, has long been a crucial source of support for seniors, but many have argued that it has failed to keep pace with the rising cost of living in recent years. Trudeau's proposed boost aims to address this concern head-on, offering a substantial increase that could make a real difference in the lives of retirees struggling to make ends meet in an increasingly expensive world. However, as with any major policy shift, the devil is in the details, and there are numerous factors to consider when evaluating the potential impact and feasibility of this ambitious plan. First and foremost, it's important to understand the current state of the OAS program and how this proposed increase would fit into the existing framework. The OAS is a monthly payment available to most Canadians aged 65 and older, with the amount varying based on how long a person has lived in Canada after the age of 18. Currently, the maximum monthly OAS payment for 2024 stands at $713. 34, with additional supplements available for low-income seniors through programs like the Guaranteed Income Supplement, GIS, the proposed $1,400 boost would nearly triple this base amount, representing a seismic shift in the level of support provided to Canadian retirees. But what exactly prompted this bold proposal? The answer lies in a complex web of economic, social, and political factors that have been brewing for years. Canada, like many developed nations, is facing the challenges of an aging population, with the number of seniors expected to grow significantly in the coming decades. This demographic shift puts increasing pressure on retirement support systems and raises concerns about the financial security of older Canadians. At the same time, the cost of living has been rising steadily, with housing, healthcare, and basic necessities becoming increasingly expensive, particularly in major urban centres. Many seniors, especially those relying primarily on government benefits, have found themselves struggling to keep up with these rising costs, leading to growing calls for increased support. The COVID-19 pandemic has further exacerbated these issues, highlighting the vulnerabilities of older populations and the importance of robust social safety nets. Against this backdrop, Trudeau's proposal can be seen as a response to these mounting pressures and a recognition of the need for more comprehensive support for Canada's aging population. However, the announcement has also raised a number of critical questions and concerns that must be addressed as the government moves forward with this plan. One of the most pressing issues is the question of funding how exactly will the government finance such a significant increase in benefits. The OAS program is funded through general tax revenues, meaning that any increase in payments would need to be balanced against other budgetary priorities or potentially financed through increased taxation or borrowing. Critics of the proposal argue that such a substantial boost could put undue strain on the federal budget, potentially leading to cuts in other areas or contributing to long-term fiscal challenges. Proponents, on the other hand, argue that investing in the financial security of seniors will yield long-term benefits for the economy and society as a whole, potentially offsetting some of the costs through increased consumer spending and reduced reliance on other forms of social assistance. Another key consideration is the potential impact on income inequality and the overall structure of Canada's retirement income system. While a universal boost to OAS payments would undoubtedly benefit many seniors, some argue that a more targeted approach might be more effective in addressing the needs of the most vulnerable retirees. There are concerns that a blanket increase could disproportionately benefit higher-income seniors who may not need the additional support as much as their lower-income counterparts. This has led to discussions about whether the proposed boost should be means-tested or whether additional measures should be put in place to ensure that the increased benefits are distributed in the most equitable and effective manner possible. The timing of the implementation is another crucial factor to consider. Given the significant logistical and financial implications of such a large increase, it's unlikely that the full $1,400 boost would be implemented all at once. Instead, we might expect to see a phased approach, with the increase rolled out gradually over a period of several years. 
This could help to mitigate some of the potential economic shocks and allow for adjustments based on observed impacts and outcomes. However, a gradual implementation also raises questions about how quickly relief will reach those who need it most and how the government will manage expectations in the interim. It's also worth considering how this proposed boost to OAS fits into the broader context of retirement planning and savings in Canada. While increased government support is undoubtedly welcome news for many seniors, financial experts stress the importance of viewing it as just one piece of the retirement puzzle. Canadians are still encouraged to save and plan for their retirement through other means, such as workplace pensions, registered retirement savings plans, RRSPs, and tax-free savings accounts, TFSAs. There are concerns that an overly generous government benefit could potentially discourage personal savings or lead to a greater reliance on public support, which could have long-term implications for individual financial security and the sustainability of the retirement income system as a whole. The potential economic impacts of the proposed OAS boost extend beyond just the direct effects on seniors' incomes. A significant increase in benefits could lead to a substantial injection of cash into the economy, particularly in sectors that cater to older consumers. This could potentially stimulate economic growth and job creation, especially in areas such as healthcare, leisure, and personal services. However, it could also contribute to inflationary pressures, particularly in markets already facing supply constraints, such as housing. Policymakers will need to carefully consider these broader economic implications and potentially implement complementary policies to mitigate any negative side effects. The international context is also relevant when considering this proposed policy change. Canada's approach to supporting its aging population is being closely watched by other countries facing similar demographic challenges. If successful, the OAS boost could serve as a model for other nations looking to reform their own retirement support systems. However, it also raises questions about Canada's competitiveness on the global stage, particularly if the increased benefits necessitate higher taxes or lead to concerns about long-term fiscal sustainability. As the debate over the proposed OAS boost continues, it's clear that there are no easy answers or one-size-fits-all solutions. The complexity of the issue reflects the broader challenges of adapting social support systems to meet the evolving needs of an aging population in a rapidly changing economic landscape. Stakeholders from across the political spectrum, as well as economists, social policy experts, and advocates for seniors, will all have important perspectives to contribute as the details of the plan are fleshed out and debated. For Canadian retirees and those approaching retirement age, the prospect of a $1,400 monthly boost to OAS payments represents a potential game-changer. It offers hope for greater financial security and a higher quality of life in retirement, particularly for those struggling to keep up with rising costs. However, it's important for individuals to approach this news with a balanced perspective, recognizing that the proposal is still in its early stages and that there may be significant changes or adjustments before any increase is actually implemented. Financial advisors recommend that Canadians continue to plan for their retirement based on current benefit levels while staying informed about potential changes that could affect their future income. As the government moves forward with this ambitious proposal, transparency and clear communication will be crucial. Canadians will need to understand not only the potential benefits of the increased OAS payments but also any trade-offs or adjustments that may be necessary to make the boost feasible and sustainable. This could include changes to other aspects of the retirement income system, adjustments to eligibility criteria, or modifications to related programs such as the Canada Pension Plan, CPP, or the Guaranteed Income Supplement, GIS. The coming months will likely see intense debate and discussion as the details of the plan are hammered out and its potential impacts are analyzed from every angle. Public consultation